hello welcome to my channel this is Ankita Mori this side and so today we are going to see how to plant the sugar cane seeds in pro trays first we saw how it is planted by traditional way then we saw it how we planted it with tractor by modifying so many things I proper have a series of it I can say then there are some dead seeds in it which haven't grown so we have to fill the gap by planting uh, some more seeds so we are going to prepare it like this so that it can cope up with the <coughs> height of other plants so we are going to first prepare the seedlings in the pro trees of nursery and then we are going to plant them in i mean transplant them in field so <laughs> let's watch this and also i want to say thanks to all of you guys that have created the shot of uh, sugarcane pro tree uh, feeling which have crossed 14.4k on instagram and 2k on youtube which is my highest reach and i'm really thankful to you all guys um first of all let's go through this video let's see what it does and then let's come back and have a chat so here we have the sets of sugarcane which we are now going to cut down the bird part that is the internodes of the sugarcane which have the good birds or the healthy birds then we are going to soak it into trichoderma solution which recommended doses of 2 to 3 ml per liter so i added uh, 20 to 30 ml approx for 10 liters and after letting it soak for 5 minutes we will take it out and now it's time to fill the protease first we will just paste it slightly with the cocoa pit and soil mixture also make sure you leave enough space for our seeds or the internodes of sugarcane to place or fit in properly and also make sure while you plant the seeds you should keep the buds on a both side of internode that's the correct way to plant so now let me tell you about the trichoderma which we used in seed treatment basically trichoderma is a genus of soil dwelling fungi found all over the world that are highly effective at colonizing many kind of plant roots and inhibiting fungi that causes many types of diseases it was one of the first types of biofungicides commercially available. Trichoderma works best on the plants that are not thriving. If your plant is already at their peak, you may not see an effect from adding this microbe. However, if conditions are suboptimal, yield increases ranged from 10 to 20 percent to as much as 300 percent. Once this fungus is placed in soil, this fungus colonizes the roots of plant by growing on the root and in the rhizosphere. It forms a physical barrier to prevent the growth of fungi that would otherwise cause disease on plant. Plants frequently produce chemicals to defend themselves and trichoderma is resistant to many of them, which helps it to colonize the root. And it does this without interfering with other microbes. Trichoderma can improve plant health even in absence of pathogen and as it is a biocontrol agent, it is chemical free, toxicity free and is also the cheapest method to prevent the diseases. I guess that's enough for you to know why we use trichoderma for tree treatment. You can use trichoderma for almost every seed treatment. So now we have filled the pro tray. Now we'll cover it up with the cocoa pit and soil mixture again. We'll water it whenever it's needed as sugarcane sets already contains well amount of moisture but still we'll keep it irrigating <coughs> also maintaining the humidity is important so i have stacked the pro trees one on another i have watered them well and after they start to germinate i'll spread them you can see how well the plants are growing once the roots are formed you can easily pick up the shoots you can see how well developed the roots are so the fact about sugarcane is the shoot part grows really very slow because sugarcane focuses on growing the root first so once the roots of sugarcane are completely well developed so that they can hold on the shoot part then only the shoot will grow and after our shoots are ready we'll first well irrigate the land which we are going to transplant we have before planted the sugarcane which was not completely germinated it has some dead seeds so we are going to replant it 
for that we have first irrigating we have prepared the seedlings and after irrigating it properly we are going to transplant the seedlings in it also the weather was really very nice the bird chirping and everything around me was really very cherishing and finally for transplanting just dug a little bit place your sapling and cover it that's it you're good to go okay so this was all about today's video of how to plant sugarcane seeds in a pro tray and how to transplant it and uh, we also got to learn so many ways of planting sugarcane i guess we have a complete series of it if you want to check the series you can go to my channel i have various videos you can also comment me what kind of topics you want me to cover what kind of videos you want me to create and you can just let me know all these things in my comment section it's always open for you i hope you loved the video i hope you liked it mm. okay then bye see you love you guys